Welcome to the Jill on Money Show. It's Saturday, April 27th, and we are here trying to help you make better financial decisions. The way that we do that is to ask you to do just a little bit of work. Go to our website, jillonmoney.com, click the Contact Us button, and complete the form. If you want to join us live, check that box. Mark will do everything else. While you're on the website, don't forget that you can sign up for the free weekly newsletter. It comes out every Friday. Mark does such a great job with that. And you can also subscribe to Jill on Money Live. That is where for $35 for the next 12 months, you will have access to quarterly live webinars, bonus video content that lives up there. We just did a great interview with Teresa Ghilarducci. She's a retirement expert, economist, author. All that is on the Jill on Money live site, meaning it's behind the paywall. 35 bucks, though. Pretty reasonable, I think, at least. Okay, let's get to you. Today, we are talking to Casey, who's on the line from Oregon. Well, Jill, I have uh, changed jobs uh, several times over the last 10 years. And uh, as a result, I have a whole bunch of different retirement accounts. Um, So it feels like the money is just sitting in like eight or nine different pots. And I... uh, Eight or nine? Stop it. Really? Really? (laughs) Are you contributing to a retirement plan right now? Yes, absolutely. I've been a really good saver, but uh, I have switched jobs a few times. So Mm -hmm. um, it means that all this money is sitting in different accounts. And Mm -hmm. I felt like I needed some insight on whether and where I could consolidate it. Okay, Casey, how much do you make? 150. Single, partnered, married, anything? Uh, Single, no kids. Casey, how old are you? I'm 45. How much are you putting away into your retirement plan right now? And what kind of plan is it? Uh, Right now, I have a 401k and I'm maxing it out and I am maxing out my Roth IRA. You've been in this job for a while or not so long? I just started a new job a few months ago. Do you own a home? Nope, I still rent. Okay. How much is your rent? Uh, It's about $2,000 all in. That's pretty good. Um, It's funny, you said that you are... Are you able to max out your Roth because you're making a traditional 401k contribution that brings you down below the limits? Yes. This year, because of some other stuff, um, because I changed jobs, um, it's no problem. Next year, I think I will be right on the edge Mm -hmm. of uh, being able to do that. Right. Okay. All right. But that's fine. So we've just started this plan. Where's the Is there one plan that kind of has the most the big chunk of money? Uh, yeah, I have 660 in an old 401k with Fidelity. Who's the new 401k provider? It's with Vanguard. I, I hesitate to move everything, of course, at Vanguard, because who knows, you might be changing jobs 17 more times in the next two years, right? <laughs> well, hopefully not. Um, and actually, you know, I don't particularly want to move that old 401k with Fidelity. It's got okay. a really good uh, set of funds. It's probably uh, all the other ones, all the other uh, little accounts I'm concerned about. Can't you just take all of these accounts? Okay, you said you have really good funds, but... You could basically have all index funds at Fidelity in an IRA rollover and essentially do the same thing that you have now, no? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. The 650, how much is in, let's say, all the other pieces here? What what What's <laughs> going on? Um, I have two rollover IRAs. Uh, those are... Probably 50,000 combined. Where um, are those held? Uh, one's with Fidelity and one's with T. Rowe. Um, I have a Roth with Fidelity. That's uh, 6,000. Is that the current Roth? That is the current Roth. Mm-hmm. Um, I have, have an HSA with Fidelity. That's about 4,000. Okay. Uh, I have a 457 with T. Rowe. Oh, That's uh, 18,000. We're not done yet, Jill. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> and then I've got a Roth IRA with Tia, and that's 120,000. You're using index funds. You're managing yep. it yourself, right? Yep. Okay. And you're working and you've got money in the bank. You've got a little emergency reserve fund? Yeah, I've got uh, probably nine months in savings in a CD ladder. You're good. (laughs) Um, 
Oh, you are good. Yeah. Except for all this craziness all over the place. Well, actually, I forgot. There's one more. I have. Of course there is. Of course there is. Um, I have 35000 in a UK retirement account. What? Yeah. With Scottish widows. Oh, my God. <laughs> So I have, I see the, the issue. Yeah. <laughs> I see the issue. All right. I have an idea. I kind of, I mean, how do you feel about, you really like Fidelity, right? I like Fidelity, um, mm-hmm. you know, and they are holding the bulk of my money right now. How do you feel about a real super duper consolidation? Okay. Here's what I think you could do. First of all, these two separate rollover IRAs, ridiculous. Yep. There's no reason to have the T row and the Fidelity. So just move the T row into the Fidelity. Let's start with that. Okay. okay. I mean, from the Roth perspective, do you want to keep the Roth at TIAA or do you want to, you've got to pick one place to hold. So, I mean, I like TIAA, but you know, you can roll it all into Fidelity and make it easy for yourself. Yeah. Um, I honestly, I started the, the Fidelity account because T is website interface sort of drove me nuts. All right. So good. Fine. So now let's take the 120 that's in TIAA craft and roll it into the Fidelity. Okay. Done. The 457 plan, the old plan. Yeah. So I think that that's where, tell me more about that. That's actually uh, tentatively slated to be um, part of my down payment if I buy a house next year. Really? Why would we do that? <laughs> well, the withdrawal rules on it uh, make it possible for me to do that without paying, without doing anything more than paying the taxes on it. So you're just going to pay the tax due. All right. Yeah. I'm going to just put that aside as down payment with a big question mark on it. Okay. okay. The big question really is, if we look at Fidelity as the place where you're going to hold all this money, are you willing to take the old 401k and roll it over into your Fidelity rollover IRA. Because in that account, which will be the combination, right? That's going to be your combination of your T row and your Fidelity is going to be 50. Mm -hmm. You roll the 650 in, you've got 700 grand. And all you have to do is if you want to keep costs low, then all you need to do is just buy index funds. And you can do that at Fidelity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then Fidelity will hold one rollover IRA with 700 grand in it. It will hold one uh, Roth IRA with $126,000 in it, right? Yep. It will hold one HSA with $4,000 in it. You will now be able to use your Fidelity platform to manage everything. I'm going to ignore the 457 because you'll end up paying tax on that next year, yep. right? And you'll use that. I don't know what we do with the UK return. <laughs> I mean, honest to God. I mean, I, I think it funds a nice vacation at some point in the future. Exactly right. Exactly right. And then I think you're kind of tidied up. Let me ask you something. Out of that 150, you max out your retirement account. Mm-hmm. You don't have a lot of expenses. Theoretically, do you think you could beef up the emergency reserve fund some? Yeah, I think that's probably the plan for the next okay. um, for the next year while I sort of look around and see okay. what I want to buy. All right. One fat fidelity account, one login, one one password to remember. Okay. And you'll manage it all. And I think, I mean, the only thing that I would just be careful about is that when you're ready to get this going, and fidelity will help you do this, mm-hmm. you just get the money invested efficiently and just use index funds. Oh, yeah. you, know, you know, it's funny because if you have 401k at fidelity, you're basically using the assets of fidelity. In fact, in an IRA rollover, you'll have more flexibility. Okay. Then I think we're done. I think that I feel good about this. Do you have your will done? No, I need to do that. Okay. The reason why this is so important is that, do you have siblings? Uh, Yeah. If you're going to make choices um, around giving money away at your death, you got to put it on paper because there's so many really weird rules each state has. Like if you don't have a spouse and you don't have kids of your own and then half the money goes to your parents and half goes to the siblings and maybe you don't want that to happen, you know? So you got to really put it down on paper. I feel very confident that you're going to do that. In fact, if you say like, what should you do first, consolidate or do the estate planning? The answer is yes. You do them at the exact same time. All right. All right. That makes sense. If you would like to join us on the program, talk through whatever is going on in your financial life, 
All you need to do is go to jillonmoney.com and click the Contact Us button. Don't forget, while you're on the website, you want to check out our YouTube show. It's called Jill on Money, powered by the Compound. Oh, we got something good cooked up for this weekend. You'll have to check that out. Do me a favor. Do something nice for someone else today. Change your work, change your wealth, change your life. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow.